Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you, Julie, for introducing me. I am Susie Gonzalez. I am a registered dietitian and I work for the dining services here at UTRGV. Uh, so you may see me around here in Edinburgh or in Brownsville as well. Um, like I said, thanks for joining us today. And today we're going to learn how to make a breakfast burrito. So breakfast is one of the healthiest, maybe, meals that you can have during the day. Uh, for sure, if you have classes, do not skip your breakfast. Even if you're home online, uh, your breakfast is still essential to start off your day. So even if you don't want a burrito for breakfast, you could make a lunch burrito or a dinner burrito. Uh, so it goes throughout the entire day. Uh, as you can see here, I have our egg and some vegetables, uh, mushrooms, onions, jalapenos, bell peppers, I have our protein, our breakfast meat, we have bacon, and then we also have cheese. So all this is optional. You're more than welcome to select any fruits or vegetables that you, I'm sorry, not fruits, but veggies that you have at home. I know some of us have limited our shopping sprees, going to the store, so that way we can stay home and stay safe. Uh, so like I said, anything you have at home, you can throw in there. Um, Right now we're gonna start off with the bacon. Uh, here is my, my skillets. Uh, you could use a medium skillet or a small skillet depending on how much egg you wanna put in there. I know there's been a lot of research regarding egg nutrition. Some people may say, oh, eggs are bad for you, especially if you have heart disease. Uh, but with recent studies, eggs are actually shown to help heart disease along with a healthy eating pattern. That's a key word, healthy eating pattern. So eggs can be a healthy part of that pattern. I'm gonna add our bacon here. Okay, you can get your lean bacon, uh, trim off the fat if you like. Uh, you can sprinkle in some canola oil, any vegetable oil that's part of a healthy eating pattern. Um, so it could be canola, olive, sunflower, uh, even vegetable oil, okay? You wanna stay away from the saturated fats, which would be like, uh, here in the valley, a lot of people use manteca, which is lard. Uh, that we want to limit. Uh, leave it for Thanksgiving when we have our tamales, okay? So we have our bacon cooking here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, we'll just let it simmer to get all the fat out of there. Um, bacon has a lot of flavor. So if you love bacon, you can use your bacon. Uh, if not, you could use ham, uh, lean ham. You could also use turkey uh, or sausage. Uh, I know some athletes love their protein meats, so they, when they come to the dining hall to get omelets, they'll ask for bacon, ham, and sausage. Put it on medium low. Once that gets sizzly, we're going to add our vegetables. Okay. So I recommend a tablespoon of each, um, but if you are not eating that many, uh, you can put in a one fourth of a cup or a half a cup. So other vegetable options that you can throw in to make this a little more nutritious is spinach. Uh, or beans, so we have black beans, pinna beans, uh, navy beans, anything like that. I'm just gonna let it simmer there. So you can see, the more colorful it is, the better. So you can get those added nutrients. With a lot of us being indoors nowadays, uh, we may not be consuming enough vitamin D. And you can find vitamin D in mushrooms. So make sure that you go out to get some sunlight, 15 to 20 minutes of some sunlight. Uh, you can also get your vitamin D from fortified milk, uh, from fortified yogurts or cheese. Uh, so please don't forget to continue consuming your vitamin D. Okay. You're more than welcome to cook your vegetables as long as you like. Uh, so some people don't like that crunch of onions, so this is perfectly fine. You can continue cooking this until your onions get soft or your bell peppers. 
if you do like spicy stuff, you could add some chili flakes or add more uh, some salsa, either homemade or store bought salsa, to add some spice to that. Okay. And once we get this to the the texture that we that we wanted, uh, we can consider putting our eggs in there. So I have a little more than a cup of egg here. Uh, but you could always, um, you could use liquid, liquid white eggs, you can use regular eggs, whether they're organic or just regular, um, those that are fortified with omega-3. Um, really, the studies that are showing benefits are using regular eggs. So one egg can provide you six grams of protein. Uh, and it, it'll help you enhance your physical performance by maintaining your lean muscle mass. Uh, it also maintains your um, your memory, so as you're aging, you'll continue to have that memory that has choline and gluten, which is shown to benefit your your brain. Okay, so I'm going to pour my eggs in there. I'm just going to pour all of it. So you can consume one to two eggs per day, uh, which, which is perfectly fine as long as you are following that healthy eating pattern. Um, and so your eggs, some people don't know how to cook eggs and that's perfectly fine. Uh, you can use a shortcut and just throw all this into a mug with your egg and cook it in a microwave, which is pretty cool for about maybe three to five minutes depending on the power of your microwave. So egg, you're just gonna scramble it. You wanna keep pushing it off to the side so that way it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pan. And make sure you mix up all those veggies in there. And you just wanna cook it to a point where there's no more egg liquid uh, rolling around, okay? Because what tends to happen with overcooked eggs is it's going to have a rubber texture to it uh, and it's going to dry. Um, so if you want to eat eggs and not get discouraged by eating them because of the texture, uh, just mix it to where there's no more egg rolling around. mixing there. On this side, I have a tomato basil tortilla just warming up because uh, the warmer the warmer the tortilla is, the easier it is to roll. Okay, uh, so this is a healthy green tortilla, uh, but if you if you have your whole wheat tortillas, that'd be wonderful to get your whole grains in for the day. It is recommended to consume 25 grams of whole grains um, and fiber, so make sure that you stick to reading the nutrition labels on the packages that you eat to make sure you get the, the, the amount you need for uh, weight maintenance, um, or even if you're looking to bulk up. Okay? So once that is mixed in, we are gonna fix our tortilla here. Just going to roll it over. Let's see. Okay, here's my And I'm just going to push the egg veggies onto there. Okay. So, rolling up a tortilla burrito style may seem a little tricky, especially at the beginning if you're learning how to do this. Um, but like I said, warm it up a little bit, either on the mile, in the microwave, uh, just so that way it's easier to fold. So you want to push it, get your your protein or your, your food a little more towards you, so that way you can fully wrap your tortilla around it. Okay? And once you kind of tuck the edge of the tortilla underneath your food, then you want to fold in one side, the right side, and then on to the left side, and you're just going to continue rolling and tucking, okay? So 
that way he gets a nice little burrito. Okay. If this is too much for you, that's okay. All you have to do is cut it in half, which I do here. So you can eat half now and half later. And what you can do to save it is you can let it cool down a bit so you can eat your half and then let it cool down um, and then wrap it in foil paper. What's nice about these burritos is that you can save them. So if you wrap them in foil, you can freeze it or just refrigerate it for the following morning. And you microwave it to where it's, it's warm for you, uh, maybe about two minutes in the micro, and there it is. It could be a to-go breakfast or just a quick breakfast if you wake up late for your morning class. Okay, so that is how you make a breakfast burrito. Like I said, oh, I forgot the cheese here. Uh, so you can always add more add cheese to your breakfast burrito. Um, if you're vegetarian or vegan, you can make these however you like. Uh, you can skip out on the breakfast meats and add uh, legumes, maybe chickpeas, black beans. Uh, you can even spread some Greek yogurts on that and season it with a little bit of salsa. So it'd be like a sour cream salsa. Okay? You can even put hummus if you like hummus. Uh, there are other recipes that you can find where they put apple slices in there. You're more than welcome to try that out. And just play around with your fruits and veggies and to, you know, to build your palate, to expand it, so that way you're consuming more nutrients, and, uh, vitamins and minerals, and that's such. Okay. All right, Susie, thank you so much for that demonstration. So we have a question that was asked by one of the students. So they wanted to know what kind of pan were you using for the egg? Okay, so this is a skillet, um, or it, it can go skillet or frying pan um, to where you can fry eggs, anything like that. Uh, as long as it's a pan, it could be a big one or a small one, whatever you have at home, uh, you can try that. Uh, I do have a portable uh, flame burner here, uh, but use it on your stove top. And like I said, if you don't have this at home, that's okay. You can get a mug uh, and put your vegetables in there and whisk some egg. Uh, so you can put one to two eggs, whisk it up, and then throw your vegetables in there and microwave it. Got it. Okay, so there's another question. Um, so how many ounces did you use per ingredient? So per ingredient, you could use a tablespoon of each, and that's what I used here. Uh, but if you want to use more, that's fine. Um, I personally love a lot of vegetables in my omelet. This could be like an omelet too. Uh, so I love a lot of vegetables in mine. Uh, so you can add more veggies um, or you could use less egg. Uh, it's really your preference. Okay. Um, but it may get to be a lot. So if you're using a lot of vegetables, just one tablespoon is enough. But if you're using like one or two, you could use a quarter cup one fourth of a cup for each ingredient. Got it. Okay, so there's not any more questions. Uh, I would like to thank everyone for coming to our demonstration. Also, I'd like to thank Susie for taking the time and showing us how to make this delicious meal. Yeah, of course. And Julie has a recipe of our breakfast burrito uh, with the ingredients, the steps, and also some little tips on how to make it more nutritious. Uh, so we'll share that with you as well. Uh, we have our next Motivational Eats coming up on Monday again at 12 noon. So you can follow ETRGB Dining or ETRGB UREC uh, to stay in touch with our link and any other events that we have coming up. Uh, our next one is going to be lasagna rolls with some Alfredo sauce. So I'll teach you how to make the Alfredo sauce and how to roll up your lasagna roll. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, it can be for one people or for your family. Uh, so stay tuned for that.